adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Going as far as Center City, driver? Yep. Mind if I ride along with you? How come you afoot out here in the middle of nowhere? My horse went lame a few minutes ago. Luckily, I spotted your stage. A couple of hold-up men after me. Hold-up men? Yeah. Well, why don't you say so in the first place? Climb aboard. Thanks. Cisco, he's horse. He gave us a double up cross. He may be hiding around here someplace, Pancho. Be careful. What do you see, Cisco? What prints? They lead down there to that road over there. This I don't understand. He, he leaves his horse, and his horse can go so much faster than him. I wonder. There you are, Pancho. There is your answer. But I want to see the stage coaches. Yeah, he sold the stage too. That's why he sent us chasing after his horse while he got aboard it. Cisco, how do you know all the time what I am thinking? while I reload. Everyone out of the stage. Make it quick. Yes, and when Cisco say quick, he means quicker than Pancho can say Robinson Jack. Don't be alarmed, miss. I said everyone out. Hurry up! There isn't anyone else in there. He's not there, Pancho. He pulled us, Cisco. He didn't get aboard the stagecoaches. Were you looking for someone special to rob? 
This is not a holdup, miss. We're looking for a thief who's a killer. Yeah. And if we catch him, we're going to let the law hang him. We don't kill him first. Oh, this is very, very funny. The Cisco kid and Poncho planning to turn a criminal over to the law. So you know us. I've seen your pictures, mainly on the wanted posters. Hey, Poncho take a pretty good picture, don't you believe it? That's because Poncho is pretty good looking. You're beautiful. Look, you'll find my purse inside. Take it and go. I'm in a hurry to get to Center City. Ooh, Cisco, the senorita, she's got more fire than the salsa and the chili pepper sauce, eh? <laughs> yes, Pancho, and yet she's sweet enough to kiss. You try that or not... Oh, just a minute, miss. Kisses are given, not taken. Now tell me, did you see a man board the stage a few miles down the road? I wouldn't know. I was fast asleep. Driver, come on down here. Did you hear what I asked the lady? Why, why, sure. Well, then... Don't tell them anything, driver. Senor, I don't think your head is going to look pretty good with a hole in the middle. Now, uh, put that gun up, mister. It's liable to go off. A gent did board the stage. Said you were trying to rob him. And what became of him? I don't know. He must have piled off back down the line somewhere. Hmm. Well, Pancho, I think we'd better take a look around there. That is, if you don't mind. Have a good trip? Yeah, pretty good. Didn't you bring any other passengers? No, just that young lady in there. Were you expecting someone? Yes, our new cook. Oh, doggone it. I bet she changed her mind, just like a woman. <laughs> I wouldn't bet on that, Sheriff. I'm your new cook, sir. You? Disappointed? Oh, no, quite to the contrary. It's, uh, well, just that I expected an older woman and not such a pretty one. Uh, sure you're a good cook, miss? Best in the West, Sheriff. I'll show you to your room. Here's your bag, miss. Well, thank you. The hotel's right across the street. I hope she can cook as good as she looks. Sheriff, I almost forgot to tell you. We run into that Cisco kid and his pal Poncho. They stopped the stage right this side of Apache Canyon. Hold up? No, they were just looking for some fella. Oh. Well, they better not show up around here. Well, here you are. Now, if you don't find it comfortable, you just let me know. Thank you. I'll wait for you down in my office. Oh, goodness. Oh. Now, look what I've done. We lose the trail on the hill and you think we find it here. What makes you so sure? You remember that girl in the stagecoach? Yes. Yeah. She was covering up for the man we were chasing. Now, why did she do it? I don't know. Who knows what a woman will do? I'll tell you why. Why? There is something between her and that man. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if he gave her the bonds. Cisco, you say the fool of your mouth. You know, I think that all the time I... Cisco, the sheriff. Let's wait. <laughs> wait a minute, Pancho. What? what? Wait a minute. Where in the name of little green apples are you trying to go? Oh, Cisco, this is no time to ask the silly questions with the sheriff chasing us. Let, let's go before it's too late. Oh, but but Pancho, Pancho, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. We didn't do anything wrong. Why should he put us in jail? Cisco, Cisco, when does the sheriff have to have a reason to lock but Cisco and Pancho up? Let's win. Now before Pancho, he puts us in uh, Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, then he will think we did something wrong. Oh, oh jailhouse, open your doors. Here comes Cisco and Pancho. <laughs> Be quiet. Be quiet. Hello, Sheriff. Hello, boys. How do you do? I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> Sheriff, it's a nice day today if it don't rain, which it won't if it don't, don't you? <laughs> what? What were you two running away from? <laughs> running away? <laughs> You're mistaken, Sheriff. We were just getting the kinks out of our legs. <laughs> yes. And the kinkies, they, they get very kinky. <laughs> You boys just passing through? Not exactly. We dropped in to have a look around. 
Looking for a killer? I see. You've been talking to the stagecoach driver, huh? Who is this killer? What's he done? I don't know his name. But he cheated a very close friend of mine of $25,000 on bonds and then killed him. Yeah, we're going to break him in 16 pieces when we catch him, too. Well, that's all right with me, as long as you do your looking on the other side of the county line. Hey, what's the matter with you? Don't you believe us? Let's put it this way, Cisco. There's hardly any crime in my jurisdiction, and I like it that way. So I'll give you and Pancho just 24 hours to get out of the county. And if we don't? You'll wish you had. Hey, Cisco, we sound like a mean business. We better went pronto before he shows what the jail looked like. No, Pancho. I'm not leaving here until I get the man I'm after. Yeah, but Cisco, you... You don't have to stay here with me. Yeah, I, sure, I don't, but I will, big fool that I am. Uh, I knew it all the time, you two. Now, look, you wait here and water the horses. I'm going to the hotel. We'll return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of... The Cisco Kid. Well, this is quite a menu. I just hope the food tastes as good as the menu looks. Don't you worry, it will. Oh, I think. Hello, Dan. Well, it's good to see you around again. Where you been? Oh, here and there. Hello there. Say, you certainly left that stage just in time. The Cisco Kid was really after you. Well, I've got to get back to work. What's she doing here, Dan? She's my new cook and waitress. What's all this about you and the Cisco kid? What happened? He and his pal were hot on my heels, so I ditched my horse and caught the stage. However, they got wise, so I piled off and caught a ride here in a wagon. And the bonds, you got them with you? Your pretty little waitress has them, but she doesn't know it. What do you mean? I put him in her bonnet just before I jumped on the stage. In case Cisco and his pal caught up with me. Well, now I've heard everything. He's certainly hot on your trail, and that's not good. He's worse than a bloodhound. We've got to get rid of him. Wait in my office. I'll take care of him. So it's you again. Of course. See, what's the matter with you? Don't you ever smile? Why don't you mind your own business? What do you have? A cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what Cisco was doing in that hotel so long. All day long, he said, wait for me here, Pancho. Wait for me there, Pancho. <laughs> I think I'm going to go and see what he's doing in that hotel so long. Eh? And listen, I want you boys to stay right here and wait for me. And don't talk about me while I'm gone, too. I can't understand a girl like you protecting a killer. You know, I think you'll show up here in town sometime. What do you think? I think you're a very annoying person. Oh, hello. I didn't suppose to find you here. <laughs> you know, Cisco think I don't got no brains at all. <laughs> but I will show him. And while he's talking to the girl, I will look all around the house and find the bonds. And I will prove to him that I'm not so dumb like I am. Hmm? What do you think? I think you are crazy. Hey, holy smokers, who say that? Hey, Pancho, you shouldn't say those things about yourself. And I will show you, too, that I'm not so dumb like you. Goodbye, huh? I, I will let you know how I make out.
You still don't believe what I said about that killer, do you? No, I don't. With your reputation, I wouldn't believe a word you said. Now, why don't you stop bothering me? As you wish. See you later. Well, don't hurry back on my account. Boys, come here. Get him. But not around the hotel. Pancho! Pancho! around him. No, Pancho. I have a better idea. See that sign hanging over his head? Yeah. It's hanging by ropes. Yeah. You shoot one and I'll take the other. Wait a minute. Now. <laughs> Say, we're pretty good sharpshooters, Francisco. We hit something every time. Quick. But, Sheriff, we aren't saving your gap for the judge, Cisco. I warned you to stay out of my jurisdiction. Get those two fellows over to the dock. All right, come on, on your way. Hey, but, Sheriff, why is you? Let's go. Get the gun. Well, that ought to take care of Cisco. Yeah. Hey, Cisco, why are those men they want to kill you all the time for? Because the girl or her stagecoach friend put them up to it, Pancho. <laughs> the girl, eh? The shoes on top of the other foot this time, eh? What are you talking about? Oh, zombie. <laughs> the bonds. Yeah? I got them. You? <laughs> that was nothing. I used my brams, and even if it did leave my head empty for a little while, <laughs> you know, Pancho is a pretty smart hombre, eh? Where did you get them, Pancho? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? In the girl's hat in the hotel room. Well, I can't find them. Look under the mattress. You may have hit them there. We're getting out of here. Oh, you're getting out. Just like that, huh? Yes, just like that. The same way we got out of the jail in Guadalajara, you remember? If you're telling me, remember, we seen your pantalones getting out of there. Huh? Hey, never mind about that. The sheriff is about to be here any minute now. Get busy. Come on. Take the mattress off. Well, if there's a bonnet in this room, I'll eat it. She must have found them and hid them somewhere with her bonnet. We better go see that girl. Juan, hurry up. Here he comes now. Juan, hurry. Set the... Thank <laughs> you. 
Poncho, $35. I'm sorry to have to do this to you, Sheriff. Poncho and I have some unfinished business. Here, Poncho, here is your gun. Here. Go. And the sale. Go. Get in the smokehouse. Quick, under there. So, you tricked me, eh? I'll get you two for this. Come on, Poncho. Give me those keys. But I haven't got your bonds. I never saw them. Well, I put them in your bonnet. I told you a dozen times. I threw it in the waste paper basket after I got some ink on it. I don't know what happened to it. You expect me to believe that? Now, listen. I'm just giving you one more minute to tell me what you've done with those bonds. Oh, my God, you're hurting me! Uh. You know, she's putting as good a cook as Pancho, huh? <laughs> well, eat hearty, boys. This is the last meal I'm going to cook here. Congratulations, senorita. You know, I didn't never eat better foods nowhere. Pancho, you took the words right out of my mouth. Well, you know, I uh, could be persuaded to cook for you, Cisco. Really? Just faking, huh? Yeah, because, you know, if Cisco gets married, Pancho won't have nobody to fight with. Oh, Pancho. <laughs> oh, Cisco. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, amigos. Sí.